The Bahamas is one of the few places left where you can see sharks in an undisturbed and protected environment. Swimming with sharks, you get a sense of their power and resilience. They are some of the world's oldest creatures. Before the dinosaurs walked the earth, they were hunting in the oceans. They are a reminder of an order that existed before our own. But they are also a reminder of how quickly humanity changes the natural order of things. We transform these pure creatures into something so small, meaningless and empty. Shark cartilage pills contains fish, shark cartilage. They don't tell you what species of shark it is. They say fish cartilage, shark cartilage. So it can be any shark? Yeah. Is this good for your health? There's a lot of claims to say that it is, but so far, no proof. Have you got your phone on you? Over the past few years, shark activist Madison Stewart has been investigating shark products. She was the one that first brought my attention to the story of shark cartilage pills. And they're coming from certain species that are in trouble right now. Just because it's sold in a pretty CVS doesn't make it any more sustainable. It's not normal for this to be on the shelves. It's weird. And when you see where it comes from and why they're supporting it, it's, it's weird. The shark cartilage industry operates largely in the dark. Cartilage pill manufacturers don't provide information about the sharks used to make their products. Claims that shark cartilage can cure cancer have been proven false. Claims that shark cartilage can relieve joint pain have been called into question. Researchers have also shown that these pills could be harmful to humans, but they are still on our shelves. And now, Fusion's investigation has uncovered more troubling evidence. All the while, shark numbers across the planet are plummeting at unsustainable levels. Shark, shark products, shark cartilage, it's not medicine. No proven health benefits, never proven, all anecdote. Deborah Mash is a professor of neurology and pharmacology at the University of Miami. We looked at shark products, cartilage. So we, we sampled health food stores and we published that paper in Food and Chemical Toxicology. And we were able to show that not only was this neurotoxin, BMAA, in that product, but also methylmercury. We know methylmercury is bad for the brain. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that you don't want to be exposed by taking a so-called health food supplement. Nearly all of the samples that MASH used in her study contained methylmercury and BMAA, a neurotoxin with possible links to degenerative diseases such as Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. Why would you ever supplement your diet with a purported health product that's gonna potentially, even a small risk, expose your brain to methylmercury and this neurotoxin BMAA. I don't get it. We set out to see for ourselves if shark cartilage is indeed an effective treatment for the awful scourge of cancer. The procedure seems fairly simple. Shark cartilage first became popular in the 1990s when Dr. William Lane published a book called Sharks Don't Get Cancer. In it, he argued that the cure for cancer could be found in shark cartilage. The theory got a publicity boost when 60 Minutes devoted an entire segment to exploring Dr. Lane's work. In the years that followed, a number of scientists conducted their own trials, but found no reliable evidence that shark cartilage cures cancer. It's also been shown that sharks do, in fact, get cancer. Yet, these products are still sold in health stores across the United States. Their marketing message now claims benefits for joint pain and arthritis, among other things. But just like the claim that shark cartilage cures cancer, researchers say there isn't any medical backing here. I won't name names, but several companies that manufacture, after having read our original publication, came to us and said, would you please measure some of our batches of products. They still sell it. If I was the owner of the company, I'd remove them. I take shark cartilage, or at least the supplement that contains shark cartilage, uh, particularly because it helps with uh, inflammation in my knees. Miguel Perez is the general manager at Total Nutrition, 
a vitamin and supplement store in Miami. He's been taking shark cartilage pills for about two years. I'd go on, on long runs um, and I would take a different supplement that didn't contain the shark cartilage. And well, it, it would help with my knees, but it would not uh, take effect as quickly. Whenever I used the joint repair supplement with the shark cartilage, within a couple of hours, the swelling and the pain in my knees would subside almost completely. A lot of people, particularly in the nail salons next door, were using it and telling me that it helped them with their carpal tunnel, with their wrists, with their fingers from using their hands all day. So I decided to take it. As far as sales go for the shark cartilage, there isn't a particularly high demand for it. I'd say somewhere between two and $3,000 a year. Have you heard about any, any negative effect of uh, shark cartilage pills or negative aspect of it? No, not at all. Uh, I have read that uh, as, far as, um, as far as acute toxicity goes, there, there doesn't seem to be any overwhelming evidence that shark cartilage is, is toxic in and of itself. Have you talked to doctors specifically about shark cartilage pills? Unfortunately not. Unfortunately not. I think in a large part, the scientific community has thought that the worst case scenario with these kinds of pills is that they have no effect and people are wasting their money. But the worst case scenario could in fact be that they're sort of counterindicated for the kinds of things that people are taking them for. We did not tell Lisa Murley uh, is a senior lecturer at the University of Miami, where she focuses on marine immunology and shark conservation. So we took human cells, we grew them up in the lab, and incubated them, and treated them with extracts of shark cartilage. Those cells responded by producing a whole list of pro-inflammatory mediators. Those would be exactly the kinds of mediators you would not want for most of the kinds of conditions for which shark cartilage is marketed, because the underlying pathology in arthritis and in many conditions is inflammation. So the last thing you want is something that promotes further inflammation. Have you guys taken this information, this research to national health agencies? It's a dietary supplement, so it falls outside the, you know, sort of jurisdiction of like the FDA and the USDA. And so much of what they have for dietary supplements is kind of voluntary. So there is no governmental body that oversees the production of these products. So we don't have a way of, of, of checking what the company is putting in the product. When you call these companies to find out what the geographic location is, what species they use, what age of the sharks were, how they were harvested, they do not provide any information. So that means that it could be any species, actually? It could absolutely be any species so of shark. So it could be also endangered species? It could, it could. We, would, we wouldn't know. Without knowing what species of sharks are in these pills, it's impossible to know how this industry affects the conservation of wild sharks. To find out, we reached out to the manufacturers and distributors of shark cartilage products, which include big corporations like CVS, GNC, Walgreens, and the Vitamin Shop. Every company we reached out to refused to comment. So we decided to find out what was in these pills. We sent a batch of cartilage pills for DNA testing. The results were shocking. Some of the pills manufactured and sold by Vitamin Shop and GNC did not contain shark at all, but skatefish and manta rays. Meanwhile, pills sold by Walgreens had DNA from a vulnerable species of shark, and a number of the pills sold by CVS contained cartilage from scallop hammerhead sharks, an endangered species protected by international treaties. Trade in scallop hammerhead can be legal or illegal, depending on where these sharks are caught. And so, without knowing where or how these companies are sourcing their catch, it's impossible to know if they are breaking the law. Every year, about 7% of the total global shark population is caught and killed by humans. These sharks supply the world with shark fin soup, shark meat, liver oil, and shark cartilage pills. Fishermen from La Paz in Baja California are just one of the millions of people across the planet that rely on fishing for their livelihood. They are just trying to survive. And so are the sharks.
The math is simple. If the number of sharks taken from the ocean every year is higher than the number of sharks born, we'll see fewer and fewer sharks across the world. So who's to blame? Consumers are taking cartilage pills because they think it will help with their joint pain. But why would a company market a supplement with no proven health benefits? Armed with DNA evidence, we reached out once again to the retailers and manufacturers of shark cartilage pills. GNC and the vitamin shop declined to comment. The owner of Cartilate declined to be interviewed, but claimed that his product was 100% blue shark. However, their DNA results show that the Cartilate pills contain scallop hammerhead sharks. CVS and Walgreens also declined to comment, but shortly after we shared our DNA results with them, both CVS and Walgreens pulled all of the shark cartilage products off their shelves and website. There isn't any scientific evidence to support the use of these pills. And so I think there's no purpose in continuing to produce these pills other than making a profit because they're also not serving the public health good. The potential health hazard of consuming shark and shark cartilage products can bring about something very bad for human health. If we can teach, if we can inform the public about this potential danger, then the research we do here has meaning. This is absolutely new evidence to me that I would need to look into, and I'll probably stop selling shark cartilage supplements. Whatever is left of my bottle at home, I will continue to take it until it's done, uh, because they have worked for me. Uh, but after that, I probably won't seek it out. I'll probably look for other means that don't use endangered species in the pills to, to attenuate to my uh, inflammation in my knees or any complications I might have in my joints. Sharks don't have magical healing properties. They don't cure cancer. But as apex predators, they keep our oceans healthy by maintaining the balance between all creatures in the food web, big and small. We would do well to remember this before it's too late.